Hi, Kim. Hi. How are you? Good. My name's Garrett. Hi, Garrett. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Callaway. Thank you. So I understand we got to get you a new set of clubs today. Yes. Excellent. Well, let's get to it. We'll start outside on the range. All right, let's go. So, Kim, I heard you're a pretty good player. Tell me a little bit about your game and kind of what your goals are with a new set of clubs. If, if you have some, maybe you want to hit a little farther or change trajectories. Well, I've had my club since I was 15. It's been almost 10 years, so I definitely okay. need to update my set. Yeah. I want to potentially turn pro, so Good. I do need new clubs. 10-year-old clubs is a pretty, pretty big jump to today's equipment. Um, almost all of the irons are designed to go a little bit farther. So we should be able to help you out with some distance um, as well as with the driver. So Kim, I've got four different sets of irons set up here that have comparable shafts to what you're used to playing. And the heads are all a little bit different. And I want to uh, figure out which one's going to suit you the best and okay. hopefully help you pick up a little distance and uh, a little more accuracy as well. All right, Kim, so basically what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll put together a brand new set starting from scratch. We'll start by hitting uh, your irons, figure out kind of what your patterns are with your old clubs, and then start working into some of our new sets. We actually have seven different iron models in our line right now, and there's probably going to be about three to four that are suited towards uh, a player like yourself, a better player. Uh, we'll kind of figure out which head is the best model for you the best type of shaft, whether it's a steel shaft like you have in your old clubs, um, a lighter shaft, heavier, stiffer, softer, we'll, we'll figure out all the details of the shaft, help you with your control. Um, and then we'll work our way into the set makeup, meaning do we want to replace a long iron like you have in your current bag, which is a three iron, real traditional set. Nowadays, it's a lot more common to see a higher lofted fairway wood or a hybrid to replace these clubs. Pretty straight ball there. Is that your go-to ball flight? I tend to draw it more, yeah. but I'm trying to fix that. You want to draw it less? Yeah. Okay. So one of the things that um, a lot of players test when they want to see a little less draw is they'll try out an iron that's got a little less offset here. Okay. Um, the offset moves the shaft slightly in front of the leading edge, which gives the club face a little bit more time to close. So if you're already really efficient at closing that club face, which is typical of a good golfer, um, then you may want to try something without that offset, which will make it a little easier to hit, hit a fade um, or um, you know, reduce the draw. All right, so with all these new clubs I want to have you try, I want to start with something that's going to look very similar to the clubs that you have. It's called the Razor X iron. It's actually a successor to your X16 irons. Um, and they've changed a little bit over the years from a technology standpoint. They're a little bit more perimeter weighted, uh, which makes the club more, more forgiving. Ball speeds are faster on miss hits than your old clubs will be. Um, the center of gravity is slightly lower. We put a little more mass low on the club head to move the center of gravity down, and that makes a thin shot produce a little better result than before. And it also allows us to make the lofts a little stronger and still have a high trajectory. So with stronger lofts, you get more distance and you don't sacrifice trajectory because of that low center of gravity. How that swing feel there? A lot better. I think I like the tour better than the regular. You like the look better than those already? Okay. I do. Great. So one of the things we use in the RazorFit driver is called Forge Composite. And we use that material on the crown of the golf club, which is the top. And Forge Composite is much lighter than titanium, which is what the rest of the driver is made out of and what your entire club is made out of on your gamer now. So with the lighter material on the crown, it keeps the center of gravity low. The lower the center of gravity in the club, the lower the backspin. Well, let's give a few shots with the RazorFit. So I like it, but the club face feels a little open for me. Yeah, let me uh, show you what we can do. The beauty of the razor fit is it's adjustable. So we don't need to go make a new club for you. We can take the same one where we're getting good distance, 
good ball speed, launch, and spin, and we can adjust the face angle to where it suits you a little bit better. It's amazing, these adjustable drivers, just not too long ago, when all the drivers were glued into the heads, um, we'd have to have 200 drivers out on the range to, to try and find one that fit you perfectly. Now I've got a couple heads and a bag of shafts, takes up very little space and very little time. Well, Kim, we've seen the balls flying through the air outside on the range. Why don't we go inside and take a look at your swing on the monitors okay. and just kind of confirm everything that we've been seeing outside. All right, sounds good. So this is our indoor hitting bay. You get to spend a little time playing the 18th hole at Pebble Beach. And so what we have in here is a series of high-speed cameras mounted in the ceiling. It's a system called CPAS, which stands for Callaway Performance Analysis System. Mm -hmm. And they measure how the club it's coming into the golf ball. It gets a bunch of measurements about the player's swing. And then it also takes photographs at high speed of the golf ball leaving the club face. So from all those pictures, it happens really fast, 10,000 frames per second, um, we can see exactly how a change to the equipment um, causes a change to the ball flight. So what we get is a simulation of what we were seeing outside, the ball flying through the air. And this is a simulation of the exact same range outside. And as the ball lands, a bunch of data pops up. Nice swing there, Kim. Looks like those irons are pretty dialed in for you. I think you could probably take those right out to the course and have a good round with them today. Yeah, I'm glad to see that out there. Like, it felt great, but coming in here really proved that these are the right clubs for me from all these numbers. And it's really great. It's nice to have the, the ball flight and the data match up with each other and, and prove that you got the right set. So.